like man wrote the Bible, right, I know. I know you're finna tell me something dumb like that. Well, man was dumb, because I've studied the Bible for almost 30 years or some right now. He should have put some loopholes in there. There's no loopholes. Now, they create loopholes, but if you study it all the way out, there's no loopholes. You just don't know enough yet. So we can talk about the Bible. See, you just don't understand. It's line on line. Yeah, it is. You, you got to have time to work, to figure it through. You, you, you need 20 years. You need 30 years to look through it and go through it and then let God show you as you live it. But you can't say that if you're just a casual reader. You read the Bible one time. You haven't studied the Bible. You need to study it too. You need to go through it and find out. What's up. And you need to live it too. Now you can't just do it like you go to school and get a degree. You have to be living it out at the same time. Get my scripture. Come on. Luke 9, verse 23. Because we got said, communion, so I can't get carried away. I got I to gotta keep this time. Come on, go ahead. And he said to them all, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and uh -huh. take up his cross daily and follow me. Okay, good. You got to take up this cross daily, and you got to follow him. Yeah. Now, Jesus, when he come, going to really handle this situation. And, 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 and what I'm trying to say in the right way is that it's going to be harsh for you because Jesus is strict, him and God the Father. They're not wimps, partner. They're gracious and they're merciful because they don't want nobody to perish because hell is eternal, boy. You don't get out of hell once you go in hell. Now I know some of y'all believe in purgatory. That you can pay the priest and, and father poke in them and get out of. Now I'm streaming. You got that. You got that? Yeah, yeah. See, I know y'all believe in purgatory. Y'all been taught that sometime. And, you know, when you die, they could go and pay the, and they could get you out of purgatory and take you out of hell and put you in heaven. Well, all I got to do is have enough money. But the only problem, I'm not going to be here. And somebody might spend my money the other way. Because uh, you can leave your money, but your mom and them or whoever, your wife might get another man and ain't, ain't again. Amen. Ain't going to get you out of no purgatory. I wouldn't take that kind of chance with nobody. Because after they see all that money, brother, they ain't going to buy no service for me. I'm gone. And I wouldn't trust it with them because they might not do it neither after I'm gone. So that, don't, that never made no sense when I was drinking and smoking weed. That didn't make no sense to me. I didn't understand that. How in the world I'm going to pay somebody to get me out of hell? That means I can bribe God. I can bribe him, give him some money, and then I'm going to go to heaven. So that means that mean I need to make me a lot of money. But I can be able to give God some before I go to keep me out of hell. I know fellas on the street, they had plenty of money. They always would send some money to church by their mama. Now, they robbing, stealing, doing all kinds of stuff to people, pushing dope, and they send money by their mama to church. <laughs> like that going to help them. Now, they're evil, they're doing evil, they're doing wrong, but they just send some money. Figure it out. What kind of God is that? You got to deny yourself. I want you to read that scripture in the Living Bible. I'm going to take my time. It's all right, y'all quiet, all right. You're easy. You're sleeping or you're mad. Amen. Come on. Go ahead. <laughs> then he said to all, anyone who wants to follow me must put aside his own desires and uh -huh. conveniences and carry his cross with him every day and keep close to me. Now, we've been reading the Bible together probably about over 20 some years, but I want to show you living Bible because uh -huh. it's more everyday English where you might can understand. Yeah. The point is you have to put aside what you want how you feel oh, yeah. to follow Christ. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Most people are not willing to do that.
Because they believe in what they feel, what they think. That's where the power is diminished. Empty me, O oh Lord, then you can fill me. Until you give up, you can't be filled. Now, now keep in mind the joy, the peace that we seek in this life comes from receiving his power. If not, you will seek joy in things, position, what have you, because you don't know joy. You only will get temporary happiness. You'll be happy for a season. When things change or somebody disappoints you or something, you're going to become a basket case because your happiness is in your situation or in somebody. See, it can be in somebody else, husband, wife, whoever, uh, children, whatever. It shouldn't be in nobody but him. But if it's not, now you say, well, pastor, here you go again telling me you're only human. You need to be born again. You're not born again. So you can talk about God all you want. Your very actions and how you react, how you respond to life situations prove if he lives in you, do you have his power? Feel me what's your power. That, huh? See, there you go. That's, see, that's the answer. Now you have to be honest to say I have to deny myself, pick up my cross. Keep reading right there. Come on. Whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. Now, you got to even lose your life. You got to lose what you want to. How you think things should go. Or you have no power. Now, guess what? If you don't, your pursuit for true joy and happiness without this is going to lead you to a tragedy. Just a matter of time. That's all. Just some of y'all are young. You say, "Oh, well, I don't believe that." You will see. Oh, it just takes time because it's going to be proven out. Now, if you don't have no track record, no experience, you should listen to somebody who has went through it already and tried it. You should listen to somebody. But if you think you are a smart aleck, like my daddy used to say, and you know everything, you have to be taught through experience. And sometimes experience kill you, hurt you. You got to be a strong person to come through some stuff. Boy, come on. You might not be able to make it. You, your mind might not be strong enough. Your heart might not be strong enough to the stuff you're going to have to go through. It would be better you listen to somebody. Now, now what I was showing this morning is God trained through mentors. He did it in the Old Testament. Somebody else, they follow. That's why Jesus said, follow me. Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. Come on, listen to somebody. You might not want to listen to me. I might not be your, I might not be your favorite character. I'm sorry. But listen to somebody. That's somebody that you have. You got to have somebody that you trust. You should have trust your mom or your daddy, but you know you were smarter than them, and they wasn't no good. Shut up. So you didn't follow the example. Sometimes they had bad examples set. They, might, they may have not knew the Lord. They may not knew anything about the Bible. So you couldn't follow them spiritually. They didn't, they didn't guide.